welcome to the Minecraft family channel. This is Tyra. Today I have another unboxing. I don't know what's in it. I had uh, I have some paintings coming so I don't know which one this is. So let's try and get into it and see what it is. So it's a box that I don't think I've seen before. So not much clue in that one, but fashion DIY it says. Let's see, but the <coughs> the box is really good. It's not been too damaged during transport, so that's nice. Um, again, just a. Uh, uh, ordinary box i don't know what's in it and where it is from it doesn't say it doesn't say anything about a company or anything so let's try and look again so we've got a canvas here um, it's been a bit shoved into uh, the oh i know what it is now okay that's exciting so this is a store i haven't bought of before we have in here so we have I'm just digging into it so here's the drills and there's an inventory sheet that's good and a pack of drills and I think that's everything in it I'm just checking thought I heard something so it's in a really good and nice package oh this looks a lot like uh, it looks a lot like the Mian store, I think, uh, with it being taped up. But let's have a look and see. It's um, yeah, I yeah. This is a square painting, and it's in a really good condition. The only thing that was was that they had squished it into the. Uh, the box so the end has been squished a bit but not much so i'm just taking off the and it's a 40 times 40 so let's try and just roll it up let's uh, roll it out it's not that big so have a look at it. and the back looks good on the back small pocket there but I don't think it's anything to be concerned about. Um, so, with these canvases, we have to try and fold back the uh, opaque cover on it because um, they are always always quite tight, and uh, so you have to roll them. So I'm just trying to hold them down at the same time as, and as you can see, uh, the cover doesn't really f follow the canvas. So there are some small rivers in it, but <coughs> it's not going to affect the canvas as such. These small rivers, they're just small, tiny rivers in the glue. So, and if you don't like having them in here, you just take, I can just lift you and see. Can you see here? These are the small, they're almost air bubbles and they're created when you lift or unfold the canvas. Um, so I think they're, when they package the, uh, uh, the canvas is they they don't press uh, down the glue and then it's a bit loose and you and they fold it and when you unfold it the, these rivers can occur so but you just rub over them and that makes them go flat and they are almost gone so 
if they're really large, they can affect uh, the the drills because they lift the drill. So it's important just to work them down and lay the glue down again, and yeah, just work with it. So, but as you can see now. able to catch them before there's a bit left on it not much as you can see this is where I've gone over it so they disappeared with uh, or they do disappear with just you working with the, the canvas <coughs> so I'm just going to look there was another down here so let's just take that one as well um, There's a bit of a fold in the canvas again. Just wrap them firmly down. Like this. Um, I think I'm just going to cut uh, this one with my exacto knife or my knife just to release the glue that's another option if you just want to release the bubbles out of the glue you can do that so let's see if that helped so we just press firmly down again and And it's it's flat. You can't see it anymore. Uh, let's see. This is where the river was, and it's completely flat. You have the small pucker here, as I told you about. Again, uh, this is not going to affect the canvas. So you just glue it down, or, or glue the I'll put cover back down and let's look at it at the other side. So it's just also to show you how long it takes just to go through a canvas and making it okay so it doesn't have any mistakes when you start drilling on it. I always do this before I um, I I stock my uh, or I, I put them into my stash these paintings so I'm sure that they are nice and secure and I can just take one out when I want to and start working on it so first as I said just use your knife if you want to do that first to release and then I use a drilling pen just to get the crease down or the fold down in the glue and again it's gone so just folding it back and this side is now okay <clears throat> so what I saw here also is that they have overlaid the two um, canvases or the two parts of the glue so I'm just I'm holding this one down uh, just to hold the 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 overlaid glue down so it doesn't rip and I think that's going to be good. Don't think it's going to affect the picture as such. But you have that. No, it isn't. Again, I have the river coming through of glue. So just And again here, 
and I have some small ones here so it's nothing that it doesn't take so much time to do this and I think it's okay just to show you how long it takes just to prepare a 40 times 40 canvas which with these small uh, folds in it and it's just in the glue but as I said just put it down so you won't uh, have these uh, uh, lifting uh, drills it's so annoying when they do that I think I just so let's see if I can get this down as well I think so but they're small so I'm just going to put that one back and I think I had one here okay as well yeah so they haven't done a really good job but at the, on the other hand it's not bad I've seen them a lot worse <laughs> so and um, I've done quite a lot of paintings with these rivers in them and they don't harm anything just um, just remember to lay them back down and flatten them as much as possible it's just easy I've tried to do it on a painting once where I tried to do it while I was painting and it, and I sort of skipped some and thought oh they're going to be okay but they weren't so now I've started to do it this way so I'm sure when I put it into my stash the creases are all are gone of course I will double check when uh, when I take them out to work on them but <clears throat> so now we're just sure so let's see now the creases are out or the rivers and let's try and fold it back do I have her upside down I think so no it's okay so here she is um, I don't think this part is going to be visible um, with uh, the woman and I think it's a man lying over here but I don't think you're going to be able to distinguish that one but I really do like her face so perhaps it's just going to be some I don't know how it's going to look but yeah uh, I really like these golden colors so let's try and have a look at the drills and just laying her flat back down like this and then it's got 40 colors in this small little painting here uh, so there's going to be lots of confetti in it so I need 40 bags of these and it's really nice that they put an inventory sheet into it and let's see a lot of beautiful brown colors um, some deep purples so here's oh that's <laughs> this is a typical 310 when they're really not uh, a favorite so there's a lot of uh, it's not not garbage but they don't seem there's just a lot of small small areas or just small dust particles in it but i don't think the drills are bad though they seem pretty uniform in the back but um, i think they are a bit static though <laughs> jumping around so uh but let's just count 40 bags 
And they all have the MC color, so that's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we have to have, yeah, and the. Uh, these left so we can just take a look at all of the bright colors on it just stashing it up so i think i think it's going to be beautiful and i, I i'm really looking forward to see how it's going to look with all the golden coming out as i said i think this is going to be a bit blurry and then I don't think we're going to be able to see what it's supposed to look like but um, yeah uh, they don't have to look like the pictures so uh, uh, for me if it's uh, too messy you could all always just cut it up and say I don't want to have this part with it and uh, have a bit of um, a cut painting or something so yeah so that was the unboxing of this one i will link to the seller below and there's uh, the inventory sheet is in here um it's pretty clear so uh that's nice that when you work on the larger one you have a, a larger bag and i can just check number 28 23 that's the blue one I need 95, 59 of those and I think I think they're all here and a bit more. I think there's around 100 in here. So that's fine. Uh, lots of drills and they look okay. That doesn't, that doesn't seem to be any, any, uh, mm, any bits or anything sticking out from them so so they look fine so yeah thanks for watching uh talk to you soon see you in my next video subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i'm really really happy we reached 500 so by this weekend we are going to do a competition yay i think i'm going to do it on saturday so i'll see you soon bye for now